Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to make this website responsive, which means that even a mobile user of this website should have a great user experience. Now let me show you how this website looks on a mobile device as of now. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And I'll just click on this button called toggle device toolbar. Here is how this website will look on a Pixel 2 XL device. So here we can see the user has to scroll horizontally to access the menus over here. And if you scroll down, we can see that everything is not fitting perfectly over here. So the user has to scroll horizontally. So this is not a good user experience for a mobile user. So in this video, we'll make this website responsive and then even a mobile user can use our website easily. So let's get started. This is the HTML of our website and we need to make some changes in our HTML as well. So the first thing we need to do is we want to create a new navigation menu for our mobile devices. So when our user is on a mobile device, he should have this logo displayed and a menu button displayed over here. And when the user clicks on that button, we want to display all the menu items. So we have this nav element already over here for the desktop. So we'll go ahead and give this a class of desktop nav. And uh, let's go ahead and create a nav for mobile devices. We'll give it a class of mobile nav. Now let's just copy this uh, logo from here. And uh, we'll paste it right here. And we'll just copy this once more. And uh, here we'll remove the anchor tag. And uh, here we'll type menu icon. So these two things will be displayed over here on the top, on the left and on the right. Now we need to create all the menu items for the mobile device. So we'll create a division with a class of mobile menu container. And we'll just copy this uh, UL from here. And we'll paste it right here. So that's it with our HTML. Now let's go to our CSS. And the first thing we'll do is we'll change this nav to desktop nav because we have already given a class to this navigation over here. So we'll use this class in our CSS. So here we'll select all the nav and we'll replace it with desktop nav. Now when we are on a desktop mode, we don't want to show our mobile navigation. So we'll go to our CSS and uh, here we will add some styles. We'll type hidden elements. So first of all, we'll type mobile nav and we'll type display none. So whenever someone visits your website on a desktop, the mobile nav will not be displayed. And we also want to hide the mobile menu container. So that's pretty much all we need to do for the desktop version. Now to make this website responsive, we need to use media queries in CSS. So let's create a comment media queries. And to use the media query, you can just type at media. And then in parenthesis, you need to type the max width. So we'll type max width of 600 pixels. Now what this line of code does is that it checks for the width of your browser window. And if it is less than 600 pixels, then whatever style we write over here will be applied to the page. So let's just test it out and uh, just type star and we'll type background red. And we can see that everything has a red background. But if you increase the size of your window, and if it is greater than 600 pixels, we can see that it changes to black. So in this way, you can create multiple breakpoints over here for tablet version or any other screen size you want. But for this video, we'll just stick with the mobile version. Since we know that it is working, let's remove this line of code. Now, the first thing we'll do is we'll set the width of the wrapper to auto. So if you scroll up over here, we can see that for the wrapper, we had given a width of 1024 pixels. So let's type wrapper and uh, here we'll type width of auto. The next thing we need to do is uh, we need to hide the desktop navigation. So we'll type header desktop nav and we'll type display none. The next thing we'll do is display our mobile navigation. So we'll type header mobile nav 
and we'll set it to display flex and set the background to FD 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 and now we need to display the logo on the left side and uh, this menu icon on the right side so we'll type justify content space between and we'll also give a padding of 16 pixels for top and bottom 24 pixels for left and right and we'll set the position to fixed and we'll also give a width of 100% and we'll set the Z index to 400 so that it will always be on the top and we'll copy the box shadow that we had given to our desktop nav so we'll just copy this from here and paste it in our mobile nav now we need to change the cursor when we hover over the menu icon so we'll just target header mobile nav menu button and we'll type cursor pointer and now if you hover over this we should have the pointer icon but uh, we don't have it right now so let's go to our HTML and uh, here we have a class of logo we should change it to menu button now let's set the position of the hero container to relative and we'll set the position of the image that we have in our hero container to absolute so here we'll type hero container position relative and uh, header hero container right and we'll set the position to absolute and uh, we'll set the right position to negative 253 all right now the image is above our text so we need to change the z index of these headings so here we will type header hero container left and uh, we'll set the z index to 100 and we'll also set the margin left to 40 pixels all right now let's change the font size of our headings so we'll type header hero container left h2 and we'll set the font size to 48 pixels now let's target the images inside the social icons division so we'll type hero container left social icons img and we will set a margin of 16 pixels top and bottom 20 pixels left and right now let's target the sections so we'll create a comment sections and first of all let's target all the sections and we'll set a padding of 100 pixels top 30 pixels right 0 for bottom and 30 pixels on the left and uh, let's also change the margin of the section content so we'll set the margin left to 0 now let's style the heading inside the section so we'll type section h2 and we'll reset our rotation so we'll type transform rotate 0 degrees and we'll set a font size of 36 pixels and we'll set a margin top of 0 pixels and margin bottom of 36 pixels and uh, display to inline block and let's also set the position to relative now we'll style the underline so we will type section h2 colon colon after and uh, we'll set the height to 4 pixels and the width to 60 pixels so that's it with the about section now let's scroll down and uh, let's target the my works section so here we'll type my works section now we had set the grid template columns to 1fr 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 so that we can have three images in one row but for the mobile version we'll just have one image per row so we'll just type section work container and we'll type grid template columns and we'll have one fr now let's target the images inside the work container so we'll type section work container img and we'll set the width to 100 percent and uh, height of 300 pixels and object fit to cover so that it will have the correct proportions now i don't want to have this padding over here for the images in a mobile version so let's copy this padding from here and for the work section we will have a different padding so we'll type section with an id of work so if you go to the html 
we can see for the work section we have an ID so we'll target that over here and uh, we'll just copy this and uh, we will remove the left and the right margins so we'll type 0 over here and uh, 0 over here now when we apply this padding to the work section the padding of our heading and also our button was affected so we'll go over here and type section hash work h2 and we'll give a padding left of 30 pixels and uh, for the button we will give a margin left of 30 pixels and margin top of 48 pixels now I don't want to display these many images in our mobile version because uh, all the images are one below the other so it seems like there are so many images so let's remove some images from the mobile version so let's go to our HTML file and uh, here for some of these images uh, we will give some class and we'll target that class in our CSS and uh, we will hide those classes so here we'll give a class of mobile hide and uh, we'll just copy this to three of these images and uh, let's go to our style.css and uh, here we will type section work container img with a class of mobile hide and we'll set it to display none and now we can see only three images are being displayed and then we have the button now let's style the testimonial section so we'll create a comment the first thing we'll do over here is set the flex direction to column so that we have the elements one below the other so we'll type testimonial section and uh, here we will type flex direction to column and uh, we'll set a padding of 50 pixels top and bottom 30 pixels left and right and a padding top of 140 pixels now let's target the testimonial text division so we'll type testimonial section testimonial text and we'll give a padding left of 0 padding right of 0 and uh, margin bottom of 48 pixels now let's rotate our quotes icon a little bit so we'll type testimonial section and quote icon and we'll type transform rotate and we'll rotate it 16 degrees and we'll also set the top to 48 pixels and the left to 24 pixels and that's it with the testimonial section now let's go ahead and uh, style the contact section so here we'll type section email section phone and section address and we'll set the flex direction to column and also margin of 0 now let's target the division called contact text so we'll type section contact text and we'll set a margin left of 0 and margin top of 24 pixels and margin bottom of 36 pixels and we'll also text align it to the center so that's all i have for this video in the next video i'll show you how to make this menu button work so that when you click on this button we should get our mobile menu items displayed over here on the top and when you click on it again it should disappear so after we are done with our menu button we can go ahead and deploy our website to different platforms so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and i will leave the link of the source code in the description below so if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day